The Bible provides guidance on the dangers of lust, emphasizing the importance of purity and self-control. Let's explore 25 verses that shed light on this topic. But I tell you that anyone who looks at a woman lustfully has already committed adultery with her in his heart. Matthew 5 verse 28 Put to death, therefore, whatever belongs to your earthly nature, sexual immorality, impurity, lust, evil desires and greed, which is idolatry. Colossians 3 verse 5 For everything in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life, comes not from the Father, but from the world. 1 John 2 verse 16 Flee from sexual immorality. All other sins a person commits are outside the body, but whoever sins sexually, sins against their own body. 1 Corinthians 6 verse 18 Let us behave decently, as in the daytime, not in carousing and drunkenness, not in sexual immorality and debauchery, not in dissension and jealousy. Romans 13 verse 13 But each person is tempted when they are dragged away by their own evil desire and enticed. James 1 verse 14 Do not lust in your heart after her beauty or let her captivate you with her eyes. Proverbs 6 verse 25 Marriage should be honored by all, and the marriage bed kept pure, for God will judge the adulterer and all the sexually immoral. Hebrews 13 verse 4 So I say, walk by the Spirit, and you will not gratify the desires of the flesh. Galatians 5 verse 16 For the grace of God has appeared that offers salvation to all people. It teaches us to say no to ungodliness and worldly passions, and to live self-controlled, upright and godly lives in this present age. Titus 2 verses 11 to 12. But I discipline my body and keep it under control, lest after preaching to others I myself should be disqualified. 1 Corinthians 9 verse 27. But among you, there must not be even a hint of sexual immorality, or of any kind of impurity, or of greed, because these are improper for God's holy people. Ephesians 5 verse 3 For from within, out of the heart of man, come evil thoughts, sexual immorality, theft, murder, adultery. Mark 7 verse 21 let marriage be held in honor among all, and let the marriage bed be undefiled, for God will judge the sexually immoral and adulterous. Hebrews 13 verse 4 For the weapons of our warfare are not of the flesh, but have divine power to destroy strongholds. 2 Corinthians 10 verse 4 For this is the will of God, your sanctification, that you abstain from sexual immorality. 1 Thessalonians 4 verse 3 But I say, walk by the Spirit, and you will not gratify the desires of the flesh. Galatians 5 verse 16 Let not sin therefore reign in your mortal body, to make you obey its passions. Romans 6 verse 12 For the mind that is set on the flesh is hostile to God, for it does not submit to God's law, indeed, it cannot. Romans 8 verse 7 For the one who sows to his own flesh will from the flesh reap corruption, but the one who sows to the Spirit will from the Spirit reap eternal life. Galatians 6 verse 8 But put on the Lord Jesus Christ, and make no provision for the flesh, to gratify its desires. Romans 13 verse 14 Therefore, if anyone cleanses himself from what is dishonorable, he will be a vessel for honorable use, set apart as holy, useful to the master of the house, ready for every good work. 2 Timothy 2 verse 21 So flee youthful passions and pursue righteousness, faith, love, and peace, along with those who call on the Lord from a pure heart. 
2 Timothy 2 verse 22. Beloved, I urge you as sojourners and exiles to abstain from the passions of the flesh, which wage war against your soul. 1 Peter 2 verse 11. And those who belong to Christ Jesus have crucified the flesh with its passions and desires. Galatians 5 verse 24.